I love how real life can often be stranger than fiction and sometimes funnier than fiction. So I'd like to share this little story with you. I was invited to have a meal with Prince Philip down at the palace. Um, a, few, a few people are invited down every year um, from either charities that he is working with or people who are doing work that he appreciates. And I had to hire a black tie suit. I didn't have one at the time, so I used to just hire one for the odd occasion, which I'd need one. So I hired a black tie suit and it was in a black cover bag and I was working late that night. So I arrived home at something about 11 at night. I put this suit in the black, black carrier bag on the hall stand and I went straight to bed because I had to be up early the next day, something like five o'clock to drive down to London, pick a friend up en route and, and get to the hotel in time for the meal. So. I wake up the next morning, bleary eyed, something like five in the morning, and I grabbed the suit bag straight in the car, went to pick my friend up, driving down the motorway a few hours away, making good time, everything's going great. Until the phone goes. And this other friend of mine, called Marek, who shared the house with me, was on the phone. I had my earpiece in, and my friend, I couldn't hear this conversation. And he says, pull the car over deck. I've got some bad news. And I'm going, what do you mean? But I was in the fast lane of, of the motorway and we were a bit, you know, we had to make sure that we weren't late for this thing. So I, just, I said, no, I'm fine. I'm okay driving, just, just, just tell me. And he said, well, I came in after you last night and I've been to the dry cleaners during the day and so when I came in last night, I put my suit that was in a black cover bag on the hall stand. He says, you've got my suit, which happens to be a brightly coloured suit. And I've got your black tie suit. And there was no way I had time to turn around and go back. It would have been hours. There's no way I could do that. So I went, oh, I don't, the chances of that happening, the first time I'd ever Done. I ever put a black tie suit on that hall stand and the chance of him coming in and <laughs> I wouldn't believe that if I read that in a film script I'd say oh yeah yeah like that's gonna happen anyway I thought no problem no problem keep cool I've got about an hour gap between getting to the hotel and and the palace so I thought right well it's London hopefully there'll be a, a suit hire shop somewhere nearby I'll just go out and hire one it's it's really pushing it now, but I can't, <laughs> I can't let on there's a problem to my friend because the stress, it, it would ruin their day and the stress would be awful. So anyway, so we get down to London and they go to the, the, the hotel room to change. I went to the concierge, I went, quick, quick, you got to save me here now. I need uh, to, to hire a black tie suit but I need it within 15, 20 minutes because then I need to change and get to the palace in an hour's time. And he starts laughing. And I'm going, what's so funny? You know, I, and I thought he might say, well, the nearest shop is two miles away. You've got no chance of doing that in an hour. But he's going, you've got no chance of hiring a suit. And I'm going, what do you mean? Is this London? There must be loads of them. And he's laughing his head off and he goes, this morning was the Queen's annual garden party. He says there's like, which apparently there's tons and tons of people all go to this all in black, black tie suits. And he says, you've got no chance of hiring one and you've definitely no chance of getting one in an hour anyway. I said, well, I've got to, you have got to save me. So he said, where's the nearest shop? So he points down the, the road, he says about a quarter of a mile down there, there's a couple of shops. Uh, so I'm running down the road, it's a hot summer's day. Now I'm getting stressed. So anyway, so I run down here. The first shop I come to, it's like a bomb's hit the place. It's like it's been ransacked. There's just empty rails and shelves and coat hangers on the floor. <laughs> and I say to the guy, the story, I tell him, but I need, like, I've got 10 minutes, you, you gotta help me. Anyway, he goes in the back of the shop and you hear him kind of rummaging around and he's muttering. <laughs> so he comes out with this stuff and he, 
it's a jacket which is too big, but you know, that, all right, I can, I can manage with that. And the trousers, they're way too short, they're inches up my leg, and they're way too big. They just like fall down. <laughs> it's like clown's trousers. <laughs> and he says, that's it, that's all I've got. All the rest of the stuff is too small for you, you won't even get in it. So, all right, I just grab, I'll, 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 I'll make do. And of course this, the trousers have no, of the buckle things for a belt, because they're a dress suit. So I, I'll, I'll sort something out. I just grabbed it and I ran back to the hotel. I'm really, really up against the time now. So, <laughs> so walking down to the palace and I thought what I could do is I could close my jacket and push the pants down halfway down my bum. A bit like those, <laughs> is it those kind of wrap <laughs> kind of guys? But obviously that's hidden by the jacket. So that's okay. So I can push them right down. So the length now becomes normal as I'm walking up to the palace. And I thought, well, I can just keep that inside. But the problem was, it was so hot inside. I had to, I had to open my jacket. I was absolutely sweltering. But what I did was I kept my hand in the pocket so the pants wouldn't fall all the way down. So I thought, this is okay. We're doing all right now. If I keep my hand in my pocket, then everything's good. So uh, I had my, my, my glass of champagne. I've got my hand in the pocket. Everything is looking good until Prince Philip then put his hand out to actually shake hands. <laughs> so I was like, ah. So I had to do like a Mr. Bean thing of spread my legs. So I, <laughs> so I had to push my legs so wide apart like that so the pants wouldn't fall down. So I could swap my glass into that hand and actually shake his hand. My friends are going, oh. <laughs> but I managed it. So I might have looked a bit odd, but I don't think he noticed the, the odd movements and the, uh, he didn't let on if he, if he did. In fact, later, like he was doing silly movements later because he was, was jibing me about, I'd explained about the, the type of piano I do is, is not so much classical, it's more pop based. And then he came over later and he was saying, so is it that boom, boom, bang, bang type of music and he's doing his, his funny dance. So, but at least I didn't get arrested for indecent exposure, so, all is good.